All right, E3 is drawing to a close, but uh, we got one more interview to crank out. I've got Jason Hughes from Matt Neeson Games here. I'm pretty excited about this one because I get to play the game while we're talking about it. So uh, we're going to jump right into Hawking here. And, let's jump uh, right in. I'm just going to kind of let you give me a tour, I guess. Oh, sure thing. Well, let's start off with uh, with some of the customization, and then we'll jump right into a match. Okay. So go ahead and click Garage. This is what users are going to see when they uh, when they start playing with their when they start playing with their mechs. So these are some of the presets that we have set up for E3. But if you go ahead and click on the Mech tab that's there underneath Garage, there you go. You're going to see where you can start building from scratch. Oh, cool. So we're actually going to have three Mech classes, but in this particular build, we have two available. So you okay. can bounce back and forth between light and medium, and uh, each have different uh, each have different characteristics. Some. Uh, like uh, for example, medium has more armor. It's a little slower, right? And it can, but it can carry more uh, more energy. So, for example, if also if you uh, click on paint, you can customize how you want it to look visually. Okay. You can play with the scale of the pattern and also adjust the trim if you want it to. Yeah. Also, here on the part side, we have a couple that are locked for uh, for now. But in addition to having a full mech, you can also switch out the pieces. So if you want the legs from one, the head from another, yeah. you can you can do that as you go. So hopefully that'll give people a lot of uh, a lot of cool freedom in, in changing how they look. Are, are these over here? These are just cosmetic, or do these apply any kind of stat changes? Those uh, are purely cosmetic. Okay. The only thing that isn't just cosmetic is your mech class. Okay. So now if you click on loadout up there, now we can start talking about the weapons. Okay. There are the primaries and the secondary. So if you click on one of those, you can select the ones that we have in this build. We have uh, seven to choose from, okay. and you basically can equip or pick two for your mech okay. that you want to be able to use that you can pick between uh, while you're in battle. The primaries are the ones that you use most often. Yeah. They're intended to be used all the time. And the secondary are more support. We have uh, like a tow rocket, we have a sniper rifle, grenade launcher. Those pack a lot more punch, but you can't fire them as often. Okay. We also have items that you can use, uh, some that fall into an offense, defensive, and uh, functional category. So for here, you can decide to equip additional grenades, uh, a rocket turret, or a, 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 a homing missile turret. Okay. We have shields, holograms, EMP sensors. So a lot of different uh, items that you can use while you're yeah. playing. Okay. Now the extent of our customization it really shines in upgrades. Oh wow! So as you progress. We give you more points that you can spend in optimizations, uh, and you can put them in offense, defensive, or movement. And as you unlock the points, you can decide how you wanna how you wanna allocate them. Right. Uh, down here at the bottom of each tree is a unique ability that you can unlock and equip and use during the match. But the only way to do that is to go down the tree right. and, and focus on a particular discipline. I see. I've got uh, this looks like 24 skill points here. Is that just for the purpose of this demo, or do you actually start with just a ton of great points? Uh, that is for the purpose of this demo. Okay. Uh, a lot of what we're, you're looking at right now will have to be unlocked through progression. Okay. It won't be immediately available to you. Should, should I just start spamming points here? Sure, you can spam some points and see, I how, like that, to move uh, faster. see how that goes. Definitely into that. Uh, acceleration's good. Uh, health so. sounds good. Uh, mm. Startup time, dodge speed. All right. I'm, I'm starting to feel loaded for bear here. Uh, six points left. All right. You definitely seem to be more. Uh, I like to be survivable. You, you like to be survivable. Facts. You're more on the movement. Oh no. Oh. All right. And so Jeff I've got my. Is. Okay. Sweet. Uh, so here so, on internals is uh, also we add these as modifiers. So these are things that you can unlock as you go. It's a little bit of sort of like a buff that you can put offensive, defensively, okay. or, or for kind functionality. Passive stuff. Just some passive. Yeah. Exactly. Some okay. passive bonuses there. All right. I'll just I'll stick with what we got here. So this is a sample of what players are going to be able to see. We have a lot more items that, that are going to be available when we launch, but okay. we want to give people a good idea of uh, what the game is actually going to be like yeah. for customizing. So go ahead and uh, hit deploy. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hit join match. We have uh, three game modes here at E3. We have deathmatch, team deathmatch, and siege mode. Siege mode is our sort of premier, uh, very unique mode that ties in elements of resource gathering with some king of the hill gameplay aspects as you destroy an opponent's base. Wow. But we'll jump right in here to some uh, to some team deathmatch. So now you're in your hangar. The mechs that uh, that are that you define in your garage uh -huh. are now available here for you to choose from. What was so I on, I was on one, medium demo, I think? You can pick that one. You can pick, uh, and then you pick the primary that you want, and then you pick the secondary that you want. Okay. Oh, so you only get one at a time. You only get one at a time, uh, exactly. Not, actually, I don't remember which guy I was on when I did that one. Well, whatever. We'll just okay. go with one of the presets. Okay. Well, uh, you like to be agile. I would suggest maybe one of the light ones. Okay. 
uh, about a Vulcan so cannon. A Vulcan and tow rocket. Yep. And then go ahead and hit uh, hit All launch. Right. Actually, are these drunken missiles or cluster missiles? Yes. All right. And they have a homing ability. I, I, so. I need cluster missiles so in my go. life. Go ahead and launch. You're going to be in a giant robot. Uh, do you need the mouse inverted? Uh, no, no. Okay, cool. No, because I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> I'm not trying to start anything here. Well, you already did. All right. I don't know how you can play non-inverted, <laughs> but uh, that's that's a different topic. So, WASD, W-A-S-N-D for the normal movement. If you hold down the shift key, you can boost forward, do quick dashes to the side. Uh -huh. Or, if you want to do a quick 180, you hold down shift and hit the, hit the S key. That'll do a quick 180 so you can see who's behind you. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, the people on Whoa. your team are oh, the, the team. <laughs> your teammates are in white. Enemy is in red. Now, you have the homing missile. So, if you middle click the mouse button, there you go. Now, fire with the right. Yes. There you go. Yes. And the Vulcan, you hold down You hold down that left mouse button. You don't let go. There you go. All right. That. So, now you're damaged, uh, but you got guys behind Whoa. you. If you can find a safe haven, go ahead and hit the C key if you are in a place that's safe. I wouldn't recommend it now, though. How about I get whoa? How about I get out of here? If you get out of there, Am find I, um, someplace quiet and hold on to the C key. Like right now, you should be good. Uh, what am I draining when I boost? Is there a meter? There's a fuel or, meter oh, that's there, right okay, there. Gotcha. Now, if you hold that down, you can repair yourself. You okay. have a drone that comes out, nice. starts replenishing. You can get right back. Is in that is that limited use, or you can do it anytime? You, you can, can do uh, it anytime. But of course, a, the balance is you can't it. move, right. and you can still take damage. And you yeah. can't heal faster than you can take damage. Yeah. So uh, it's up to you. Risk versus versus reward. Right. Possible to bump my sensitivity a little bit here? Uh, I think you can with the mouse if oh. you uh, just tap with your. Uh, there you go. The oh, plus great. Or minus. Yeah. Ah, there That's we go. A little better. Yeah. All right. Now here's your items. Those were the items that are at the bottom. Uh, right here you have a rocket turret, oh. and so to use the items that are equipped, all you have to do is hit R. Okay. For example, if you hit R, back up. There you go. Okay, you have a nice. turret that'll now unfold Maybe and not. attach anything or attack anything that yeah. comes in its range. Maybe not the best place to put it, but probably not the best place. <laughs> if you scroll with the mouse wheel, oh, there you go. Oh. Nicely done. Nice. If you scroll with the mouse wheel, it'll scroll through the items that you oh, had yeah. equipped. Okay. Uh, the EMP is something that, just like it sounds, it'll shut down an opponent's electrical system. A shield is something that you can shoot into the ground and, and shoot from within. It'll protect you from the oncoming fire. Yeah. So you guys are on uh, Unreal Engine, but it doesn't really look like it. Like, how much... I mean, how, how extensive was the work you guys did to kind of give this game a unique look? Quite a bit. It's it's it's. We did a lot of customization on it. It's heavily modified engine. Yeah. Um, Unreal is really good to get up and running uh, on. It's 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 not too difficult to get going. Right. But we we just have a lot of there's a lot of talented people on the team, and we just uh, you know we wanted a unique look for it, and the visual aspect of it is something that's really important to us. All right, I need to kill somebody. There you go. Turn around. Oh. Right. Or do the 180, yeah, or do not the do the 180. I'm, I'm, not used to, I'm not used to having a 180 in a, in a shooter like this. There you go. Well, you're you're oh. three, you're three and zero oh at the moment. So that's that's not bad. <laughs> I guess I'm doing all right. There you go. Oh, I, I can't. <laughs> I keep trying to back up while running. Oh, uh, space bar to jump. Oh, okay. Probably should have thought about that one. Yeah. Space bar to jump and then press and hold to hover. Okay. Oh, so you can change everything in between deaths. Exactly. Here. All right. Let's, in uh, a lot of the modes we have, uh, well, for siege mode in particular, the strategy will change as the as the match goes on. Uh, so you may want one role at one point, and then after you die, you're like, I, I need to come in and be more of a supportive role, uh, or turn into something that unleashes more devastation and destruction. It all depends on how uh, how the match is going. Right. There you go. And then press and hold. Aha. There you go. There we go. So it's kind of a limited hover. It is a limited hover. We yeah. want to make sure, though, that people aren't just flying around. Right. Uh, you lose some of that mech feel. What's the uh, what's the max player count? Right it's now at E3, we're at five versus five. Okay. Uh, that isn't for a technical reason. It's yeah. because we found out if we started adding more players to the maps we have here, it, it became less fun. Right. Oh, come back here, you. So a lot of that oh, we're no. still playing with and figuring out what a good balance is. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm not sure what's. 
to do that. Okay. Sure. Oh, that was a direct hit? Oh, this yeah, is going to go badly for me. The weapon you chose is a little bit of a uh, charge up type oh, the, of primary. The, 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 the EOC, yeah. EOC repeater. Okay. I think I'll go back to the Vulcan. Try uh, try one of the lighter classes. Okay. Since you are you are the agile one, that, yeah. may, uh, that may help you out a little bit. Uh, flat can is a kind of shotgun-ish? Yep. All right. And I kind of like those lock Yeah, you were, doing pretty, uh, you were doing pretty well with those. Yeah. So it's, you're going to get a lot more, a uh, little bit more speed out of that. Yeah. Than you, than you did previously. So, I mean, if, you, if you're giving somebody the top level pitch on this game and they and they said, you know, it's a WASD game, like, how does it differ just from just uh, every other first person shooter? Or what makes it more of a mech game, I guess? Like, what would your answer be? I would say the customization is yeah. one thing. Uh, and also the focus that we're trying to put in with not, with actually feeling like you're in something that's weighted uh, and has some weight to it. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, yes, it is technically a, it is a first person shooter. Yeah. But at the same time, I think that the customization, how the weapons feel, and how the mechs move, yeah. I think has helped what makes it, captures it, brings it a little bit more to the to the mech it, category. It, it does feel like it has a little bit more of a methodical pace, you know, it feels a little more plotting, like a, like a giant robot would. Right. And uh, and that's actually something with the with the controls, too, is that's part of why, that was a creative dis solution Whoa. to the speed, is to put in that 180 quick boost. Uh -huh. Because we limit how fast you can turn, because we didn't want mechs just starting to look like this. It, right. it, takes away some of that weight. So we had to come up with a way to, to quickly turn around and see what was behind you. This is where all the action was. This is where the action is. This is where they've been hiding. God, the explosion effects, dude. Yeah, it's, this is a really nice looking game. Oh, thanks. I mean, that was the, honestly, that was the thing that drew me to at first, was seeing the footage of it. I mean, the just all the, the kind of the, the filters and post-processing stuff you got going on. I mean, uh, they, it is. Uh, it, 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 really it, nice. it does exist. It's a yeah. real game. It's out there. <laughs> uh, how scalable is this? Is this going to run on uh, like even kind of a modest PC? Uh, that's what we're shooting for. I mean, it, part of free to play is you know you want it in as many people's hands as possible. Um, especially with a new game, you don't want people starting on day one and have there not be any lobbies right. <laughs> available. Um, so optimization, making it so it's runnable on on a good majority of PCs out there is yeah. the goal for us, and that's something we'll be focusing on over the coming months. I mean, we still have to add the our video menu and our, and our settings for that. Right. So, and we haven't optimized any of these levels yet. Yeah. Uh, we're still very much in sandbox and all of these. I mean, our, our designer Dave, he's 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 in, he's in the editor the level editor just all the time. Right. And all of a sudden, that afternoon, we'll try something out and it's and it's totally different. But he just made a, a handful of changes just right. super fast. So, I mean, you mentioned being free to play. Uh, are you guys showing or talking about any of the like the store interface or what kind of stuff you're going to be selling or is that for a later date? It's for a later date and yeah. part of that is just because we're still balancing. Yeah. What we found is where monetization comes into play has an impact on the balance overall with right. the game. Right. And uh, so that's just something that it's not even, it's not something we have like in you know, some secret doc somewhere that we aren't sharing. It's because we're still working out the details right. of how not to unbalance the game and make it not fun. Yeah. Pay to win is a pretty, uh, that's a pretty scary term. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. nothing, we don't want that at all. Yeah, well, that's good uh, to hear. So we want to make sure that we have it right. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to focus down on actually killing guys here. Well, uh, there you well, go. Or the, the match is over, all right, so. Uh, so uh, you mentioned earlier you guys are pushing for beta probably around the end of the year. Our, Open beta is 12, 12, 12 okay. of this year. Uh, if people go to playhawken.com, they can actually register for a closed beta uh -huh. uh, to get in just a little bit before that. Nice. Uh, but basically, the coming months, we're just going to be polishing this thing and getting it ready to go. Great, great. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thanks Absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for your time.